buy some stuff for overnight expeditions. There's a green one, you should get it. Green? This one? Yeah, one for me and one for you, duh. First rule of the Arctic, shut the door. So this is inside of a car with the door open during the winter. So yeah, shut your door when winter comes. And winter surely is coming. So what did we get? We got an SD card. Cut, cut that part out, <laughs> cut that part out, all right? Delete last 10 seconds. Anyways, and continuing. Um, we got some headlamps that we were talking about earlier. Um, got a couple of them. One because I want to take it with me out in the field when I go train, because I can't. I don't know where my old one is. And then one for Makara, of course, is green because that's her favorite color. So good and for her. You're wearing my favorite color. Yeah. Green Plus hoodie. I'm wearing her favorite color. I picked it out too. Because I'm her favorite man. So. Yeah. And then uh, we got some insect repellent. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need it. It's pretty cold and wet right now, and. I think most of them are probably done, you know, annoying us, but never hurts. So. Yeah. Remember our last drive? We got insect bites, I mean mosquito bites on her on our booties. That's true. We did get bit on the butt because we had to go use the potty out in the wilderness and uh, yeah, those bugs are taking We're roughing it. Taking care of business for sure. <laughs> um, decided to eat before we go on to an ice tour. First dish is our appetizer. It is like a shrimp scampi, something, something. Uh, vegetables are all locally grown, so we're really excited to try this. So we have here a salad with chicken, grilled. The vegetables, the spinach, and everything else came from their locally grown geothermic uh, greenhouse, so they grow it year round using the Chenaha Springs water. Um, then we got a homemade clam chowder, which supposedly has clam in every bite, so we're excited about that. And we got the salmon burger, good choice. I'm really excited about that one. I've um, never had a salmon burger before, so hopefully it's good. And uh, you already saw the appetizer, so yep. that's what's left of it. Yummy, yummy. We just finished our meal, and the verdict is, I think, a thumbs up, right? Yeah, we'll also do a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, work it. Work it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Before coming to Shenna Hot Springs, we stopped at Big Grace. They were having like a huge tent sale of their winter gear. Yeah, a lot of the stuff from last year, so it's cheaper. Yeah, the surplus stuff. We got ourselves each a parka. I got one too. There. Matching one. <laughs> <laughs> we probably look ridiculous right now, but you know, we got Texas license plates, so I don't feel bad. I'm not ashamed. That I'm cold right now. Oh, look, there's a bee. There's a bee. There's a bee. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay. Oh, he's on my face. Right now, we have a little bit of time before the ice sculpture thing starts. So, we're gonna go visit their greenhouse, the Chenna Springs greenhouse, where yeah. they grow their own produce. That we ate some of, and it was actually, oh the tomatoes are amazing. It was amazing. Best cherry tomatoes ever. Yeah, so we're gonna see if they sell some too, because it was really good. We're gonna go home with a bag of cherry tomatoes. Yes. Just kind of want to show a little bit of scenery. It's actually a cute little resort area. Um, we just got done buying some stuff and eating at that building over there. Uh, Ice Museum is that way. And then we are walking towards a bridge that we thought was kind of cute. Next to a thing that isn't cute, but you know, whatever. The African marigolds I bet were really pretty about a week ago. Yeah, but probably. Since it got so cold so quickly, they're dying. Like they're, they've got frostbite. Yeah, they're they're getting ready for the winter. That's for sure. Uh -oh. There we go. I gotta go to work. Sorry. Yep. I don't think I'm allowed to get on that. No, I wouldn't. Especially now that half the tracks are gone. <laughs> this is kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> And then straight ahead between those two buildings, the left one I think is like a massage parlor, the one on the right I'm not sure, but right in between them is actually where they have the hot spring um, that they made into kind of an outdoor pool. So we didn't, uh, we decided not to do it this time, but uh, it'll probably be covered in snow out here, maybe close to negative 20 degrees when we come back. And uh, we'll definitely take a dip in the pool um, at that time while it's the below zero. Pool. Hotel, motel, Jenna, oh. hot springs. Oh. I don't know. Oh, remix. <laughs> remix. All right. Okay, this is a really cute, like, courtyard area, too. 
Yep. Again, sign of bears everywhere. Yeah. Boop, boop. It's a good thing that we're bears too, so maybe they'll leave us alone. We're inside the uh, ice museum at China Hot Springs. Uh, the only 24-7, 365 day ice building in the world. So even though there's ice hotels, they always build it and then it melts and then they have to rebuild it. Whereas this is 24-7. So here's kind of a glance of what we're looking at. Uh, it's 20 degrees in here. Uh, very cold. It's very awesome there. Um, the artist or the ice sculpture sculpted all this stuff eight years ago and they're still here. And they're a married duo. Yeah, and they're a married duo. So their signature is a heart over there. Signature right there. One's a 16 time, I think, world champion. The other one's a six time. So we'll probably see them here in the winter time when they have the ice sculpture competition. Okay. And uh, we've gotten to enjoy alcohol and ice glasses. So, pretty cool tour. Yum, yum. You can't really see it with this camera, but back there where all that spouting water is, there's people just having fun in the pool. So, it's a good time all around. Yes, yeah, as you can see, there's nothing else out here. So, Beautiful, though. Yeah, it's gorgeous. We're gonna try and find a hiking trail so that we can hopefully get a picture of Aurora Borealis. But I think I think uh, we're not gonna have an opportunity for that because of the overcast. But if anything, we can at least find a location that we can come to in the future. So, recon the veggie garden. The veggie See, and you, people think that you can't grow food in Alaska because it's too cold. Check that out. Well, I guess it probably won't exist here in about a month, yeah. but look at that. But they have two indoor greenhouses, it looks like. Yeah. So they can still grow stuff year round. These things are that, really big, too. Yeah, that regulates temperature. Yeah, some big vegetables. We just did a quick hike. It was like, what, an hour hike or something like that? Yeah, I'd say about an hour. Yeah trying to find a place to camp out for the aurora borealis but it looks like it's not coming out because it's so cloudy today but on the way back it like dropped 20 degrees within an hour which is pretty ridiculous but i'm okay and then here we're back at the hot springs area and look how much steam is out this was not how much we saw earlier when we left so this is pretty intense i'm excited to come back later in the winter and actually like take a dip over there and hopefully there'll be less people in the winter and we'll have it all to ourselves <laughs> we are on our way home from Shinna Hot Springs it was a pretty successful day I guess we didn't get to see the northern lights but it's to be expected because it's really really cloudy and overcast it's been like that all weekend so nothing I mean we can't do anything about it we did some research before we came out today and found out that the two best months to see Aurora Borealis is October and I think it was March. Yeah. So, you know, we got the whole month of October to look forward to. Uh, we've got some of the gear that we need to survive the cold during that time frame. And uh, we actually, we scouted out a couple of potential places to go to. So, I mean, all in all, today was successful and it was actually a lot of fun because you know, that ice museum was pretty, pretty awesome. That was so much fun. Yeah. I can't believe I had that much fun there. I actually didn't know what to expect, but I didn't think I had, I would have had that much fun. And yeah, me neither. I didn't think it would be that awesome. So, um, overall, I think Chenna Hot Springs pretty awesome. Legit. Um, it's legit. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's about an hour, a uh, little bit north, mostly east of Fairbanks. So that just indicates that it's even more in the middle of nowhere than Fairbanks, Alaska. Um, yeah. But it's, it's a pretty close drive considering all the other places that we could go for something like this. Yes. This is the closest thing. And yeah, usually it's like two to three hours at least. So, I mean, it's kind of nice to have something pretty cool uh, close by. And we found a bunch of trails that we're going to try out in the future. Yeah, uh, so for so. a scouting trip, this was successful. Absolutely. So, I think our verdict is, uh, I give it two thumbs up. It was a good time. I agree. I should probably put my hands back on the wheel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was driving my knee, I promise. <laughs> Skills. Now, what would you give it? I'd give it thumbs up too. Two thumbs up. But I have one on the camera. So, for 10 misses, two. 
that was our day at Shinna Hot Springs. Until next time, the Cernets are out. Hey, take care.